revealed October 20th expects to showcase the B-21 Raider December 2 during an unveiling event, hosted and sponsored by the Northrop Grumman Corporation at its manufacturing facilities in Palmdale, California. The unveiling of the B-21 Raider will be a momentous event for our Air Force and the nation, said Air Force Chief of Staff Jen C.Q. Brown, Jr. We last released a new bomber almost 30 years ago. As we look to the risks posed by our pace dilemma, we must continue to swiftly upgrade. The P-21 Raider will deliver strong combat capabilities across a spectrum of activities in highly contested locations of the future. The Department of the Air Force is investing on the aircraft's long-range strike capabilities as part of its seven operational imperatives as it develops the sophisticated communications, sensors, and a diverse mix of weapons and supporting systems needed to deter our enemies in triumph and war. We must invest in long-range strike in a highly contested environment by combining the B-21 bomber with modern communications, sensors, and a diverse mix of weapons and supporting systems. After unveiling, the B-21 program will continue its rigorous testing campaign with a joint team of specialists from the Air Force Test Center, Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center, and Northrop Grumman. Their study will check performance and suggest areas for improvement for the armament system. The B-21 program is a striking illustration of America's lengthy expertise with deploying sophisticated military technology via a creative, adaptive, and efficient defense industrial base, said Andrew Hunter, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics. The Air Force took the choice early in the course of the program to make the flight test aircraft production representative, which is paying rewards as we move towards first flight. The B-21 armament system is built under the Air Force's contract with Northrop Grumman. It is built with an open systems architecture, permitting quick insertion of mature technologies and allowing the aircraft to stay successful as threats change over time.